Hey guys, Ant here with finally our top four video. We have made it to the top four of our 2017 NAIC format tournament. This is top four. On our left is Mike Newey. On our right is Michael Dolan. Newey will be playing Volcanian as we saw before. And Mike Dolan is playing Vika Bulu. So it looks like Dolan will be going first with Bulu. These guys made it to the gauntlet of four rounds of Swiss, making it to top four cut. And this always has seemed like a 50-50 matchup just because uh, both EXs could just one-shot each other. Volcanian could have one-shot with a couple steam-ups and Bulu does 180 damage. Now, Volcanian did play F Fighting Fury Belt, but this Bulus played three field blowers, so that won't be a problem at all. I think more of the concern is just Bulu getting turned to Vikavol online, which that will not be happening for Dolan here. He does not have any grubbing on bench. He Lysander's actually for turn one. And Mike Newey just getting off to an amazing start, especially if he could retreat this Volcanian this turn. Does he get a switch or a float stone? Okay. Last card is a switch. He has Volk e two Volk EXs on his bench. The one energy onto the baby Volk. He's gonna, we're going to see a power heater. He has steamed up already once. He's playing Brooklyn Hill possibly to grab a Staryu or another Volcanian EX. He's just going to probably... Just start building up these Volk EXs here and just get them ready going for not for big knockouts. So I did see a field blower in Dolan's hand, so that Fighting Fury Belt won't be too much of a concern. I think you just immediately play it. I think Newman just getting, he is gonna grab a third Volk EX here. Just wanted to take a quick look at what's available to him in his deck. Wanted to check his prizes. Uh, I'm not sure if he drew into further fire engine. Okay, I do see a fire engine hand, so we are going to see another steam up. He's going to play a max elixir here. If he hits this, which is Mike Nui, he never whiffs a max elixir. As you can see, he gets two fire energies. He's still continuing on. I think so far in this tournament, up until top four, he has not whiffed a max elixir. So I, let's see if that can continue in this match here so he does hit the max elixir he plays the switch that one he's going to do a second steam up here will be hitting for 80 damage he's going to go ahead and power heater and that one volk ex with the fighting fury belt is almost ready to be ready to attack just with one more attachment so dolan does top deck a bridget which is huge here he, i We'll imagine he's going to get several Grubbin down and possibly another Tapu Bulu GX. Now, it's worth mentioning that this Nationals was the first tournament that Tapu Bulu was actually legal. It was a promo card before it was re-released into a set. I believe it was released in a further set. Um, this tournament was Primal Clash to Guardians Rising. And Tapu Bulu actually was released as a promo card and it was it made an impact immediately. It's a very good card. I think it's probably the second best Tapu GX. I mean Lele being first. Tapu Finny was kind of it wasn't that great of a card and Tapu Coco didn't see much play at all because there wasn't really much lightning support and it just didn't do it sufficient damage so dolan is gonna just attach a second lightning to tapu coco promo and he's gonna go ahead and do a flying flip which is actually not bad for considering what his options were on his board he's gonna chip away at those volks and it's actually relevant for the baby volk because uh baby volk has 130 hp and you don't want to discard all your energies with the top of Bulu with the Nature's Judgment discard for 180. You kind of have to do that in order to kill a baby Volk. But now he can just do the 120, no discard, Nature's Judgment. So that that's that could be relevant. So the flying flip does help here. Nui 
I think he played a Brooklyn Hill and then now he just played a Sycamore. He's gonna draw some cards. I do see some fire energies. We will be seeing a, a power heater knockout here with a steam up. He steam up once. I wonder if he's, maybe he prized the star you because uh, he didn't grab it with Brooklyn Hill or Ultra Ball. So maybe it's prized. And he's just gonna power heater for 50 damage, taking the knockout, powering up a Volk, taking one prize, going down to five. Dolan's gonna promote a Grubbin. That doesn't seem like that's promising here. He's gonna play Fuel Blower to get rid of the Stadium and the Fighting Fury Belt. Play a Sycamore, that's good. Does get rid of a Rare Candy though. So he's gonna wanna see Rare Candy Vika Volt this turn, if it's possible. See some Grass Energies. He does get an attachment on the Bulu, and we may just see a pass here. Yep, we see a pass. Maybe he's gonna go ahead, draw for turn, play the Brooklyn Hill. I wonder if he opts, I mean, I wonder if he has the Staryu available to him. He plays a switch. He's gonna switch into a Volcanion, attach a Floatstone. Maybe he's eyeing up a, he's gonna wonder tag, bench a Tapu Lele, use wonder tag, grab a supporter from his deck. Does he grab a Lysander here? He's gonna grab a Sycamore. I think Nui just wants to be really aggressive here. He's gonna play an Ultra Ball, maybe thin out, grab something that he doesn't want in the deck. He's gonna grab a Baby Volk, just get rid of it. Pretty smart play here. Knew he's setting up for the late game already. Just sitting out his cards. He just wants to keep cards that he needs in his deck. He's gonna optimize its odds off of this Professor Sycamore. Draw a fresh hand of seven. Do see some fire energies. See three fire energies. So we very well can see a, another power heater knockout here and also accelerating more energies onto his board. He is just running really hot no pun intended uh he's gonna just push miles ahead here with another power heater knockout bringing two more energies onto his bench he's gonna have almost three attackers ready to go he hasn't even attached for turn here debating where he plays that attachment he's gonna max elixir i think he's Debating he's running probably low on energies now. This may be the first time he whips a max elixir up. Oh, no, not at all two energies there Insane and he hasn't even attached return. That's just gonna Probably just shut up checkmate here Knew he's gonna have about three attackers ready to go. He could just kill lineup bulu knockouts um, Yeah, it's it's not looking really good for Dolan here, so he does attach for to the Turtonator for turn, and he's gonna take a power heater knockout here and bring two more energies back onto this field. I would imagine he goes to Turtonator and a Volk. This is just an insane setup. I'm, I mean, Dolan's just dead drawing here. He still has six prizes, knew he has four. Can he get Vika Volt this turn? We will find out. He's gonna play a Tapu Lele, he's gonna play Wonder Tag. But imagine he grabs, he could grab a teammate, he could grab a Skyla for a rare candy or a heavy ball, depending on what his hand is and what pieces he does have for the combo. He does grab a Skyla, he grabs a rare candy, so he has Vika Volt in hand. Strong Charge says you can find a grass and an energy card in your deck and attach it to your Pokemon in any way you like. So. It works very well with Tapu Bulu. He does rear candy into Vika Volt. And I do expect him to use Strong Charge and take a knockout. It's unfortunate though because he is going to have to Nature's Judgment and discard the energies just to kill this baby Volcanion. Oh no, he doesn't. I forgot. It had the 20 damage. So he is going to Nature's Judgment and take a knockout for 120 
but this Tapu Bulu could very well get knocked out in response. It's just an steam up, one fire energy away from a knockout. Nui would just have to do one steam up and could it, he could knock it out with the Turtonator GX with a, um, I forget his second attack's name. It does 160 damage, so steam up would do it 190 here. Nui does have a Lysander, which he put to the front of his hand. Maybe he's just thinking of doing a Volcanic Heat Knockout onto the Vikavolt, which he is going to do. Um, I personally would have just killed this Bulu, but, I mean, oh, there is an energy on the Lele, so maybe that's why. So he does have a pivot, so he could just power up another Bulu. Wait. Yeah, he kills the Vika Volt. Um, it's going to be hard. Can Dolan find a choice ban? Dolan would need a choice ban in order for him to take this knockout on this. He does have a choice ban. So this Turtonator will be going down. And Dolan will be going to three prizes and tying the prizes at three apiece. So if Dolan Dolan's already down two rare candy so he has I believe this list only played three rare candy so he does need to find a Vikavolt this turn in order to stay in the game I believe he is gonna play an Ultra Ball he's getting rid of a Vikavolt which is interesting because I think he's down two already and there's only one available Dolan does grab a another Tapu Bulu GX he is not attached for turn either. Maybe his his supporter for turn might be a sycamore, and he does attach a grass. Does he even have a supporter? He does not. So Dolan's looking to just grab something very important off the prizes here. He does take two a two prize knockout. Takes two prize cards. Hopefully there are something that he can use he's just and knew he's just gonna get real aggressive lies turned up that grub in and just take a knockout and dolan's gonna just have to concede he doesn't have a board after that and yeah that was a pretty quick game one and a pretty dominant game for mike newey dolan did struggle on the setup he was not able to get a turn two vika volt and just stream those nature judgments so knew he was able to optimize on that and took advantage of that and, and he just set up beautifully as i mentioned in an earlier video uh power power heater knockouts with baby ball are monumental just the fact that you can just steam up steam up take a knockout power heater take a prize card and also accelerate two energies onto your board it's just really hard to deal with and knew he actually was able to take two prize cards with power heater to setting up to set up three big attackers on his bench so it was it was really hard to come back from that for Dolan so Dolan's gonna probably opt to go first here I would imagine he's gonna want to see a Bulu start some Grubbins on his bench and hopefully a turn two rare candy into Vikable combo so both players cutting each other's decks they're ready to draw and set up here both would draw seven I think Nui starts a Volcani a Volcanion EX. I'm not sure what Dolan's starting here. Setting out the prizes. Nui does start a Volk EX. And Dolan does start the uh, Tapu Coco promo, which is not bad. You want to generally start a Tapu Bulu GX, but this has free retreat cost, so that's even might be even better. And you're not leaving a two prize in the active. He does have a Skyla. That's unfortunate that that's going to have to be his turn one supporter. You at least want to see a Bridget to just guarantee some Bulus and Grubbins on your bench. Interesting to see what Dolan grabs off of this Skyla. I would imagine it's going to be an Ultra Ball or... Or maybe he just grabs a... A Bridget for next turn. He does grab an Ultra Ball. He's going to play the Ultra Ball, discarding a... Choice Band and a Teammate. Okay. 
he does grab a grubbin, which is very important to get that grubbin down. It's going to be very hard for Nui to take that grubbin out. Nui needs to get like a baby Volk down, a switch card into the baby Volk, a Lysander, and several energies to attach and for a steam up. It's not impossible, but it's just asking for a lot of cards on an opening hand. He does have an Ultra Ball. I actually think Nui may have... No, he doesn't have a Lysander. I thought I saw a Lysander. He grabs the baby Volcanion. Uh, I'm not sure if he had a Switch card, but I think he does have a Sycamore. So... I think he's going to go ahead and just maybe I'm I this was a, a situation where I never really understood do you attach right here having the fire in hand or do you steam up oh he has two energy so he absolutely attaches and he steams up so he steams up he's gonna attach and put a fighting fury belt and play sycamore for a zero card hand seeing fresh card hand of seven high five Nui he's gonna draw into seven cards does he get a float on a switch he doesn't it's unfortunate that buys, that's gonna buy Dolan another turn here. And I think Nui's debating if he benches a, another Volk EX here. And he does have a Max Elixir available to him. And he's just gonna pass turn. Doesn't really need to play any of those cards this turn. It doesn't get him anywhere. Dolan does have turn two Vika Volt. Can he get a Tapu Bulu down? I think he via Seekers for Skyla, and he's just going to have to Skyla for a Sycamore for the next turn. He's going to Strong Charge here, and he's he's going to actually use Tapu Koko's second attack for 100 damage, which is not bad. It's not bad, considering how his board is played out. If Nui could take a knockout here, though, it will put Dolan in an interesting position, because he's going to have to promote the Vika Volt. And he's gonna have to find some. T it, the deck does play Floatstone, so. But it's hard. Vigable in the active position is tough because it has a hefty retreat cost, and you essentially don't want a strong charge onto itself and waste a strong charge for the turn. So he does bench a Volky X, and of course, right on cue, he hits a Max Elixir. He is not with the Max Elixir at all in this entire tournament, and the deck plays two Max Elixir. No, he was mentioning that he wanted a third max elixir in this list because Ryan Sablehouse only played two. He does steam up twice here. We will probably be seeing another Sycamore. No, he just being very aggressive. He does. He hasn't attached for turn. I think he's debating if he attaches. He is going to attach the Volky X on the bench. And he plays a Sycamore. Needs a float stone or switch. He does get the switch and the float stone, so he has options. I think you play the float stone here. Save the switch. Yeah, you're gonna want to save the switch after a volcanic heat is done. Does Nui get another Pokemon so he could actually power heater onto another something else? So Nui will be hitting for 80 damage onto this Coco Prism, setting up a fully powered Volk EX on the bench and one has one energy Dolan does play a Sycamore this is not bad for Dolan though because he knew he wasn't able to take a knockout he benches another Grubbin for insurance he does play a Sycamore we will be seeing an Ultra Ball most likely grabbing a Tapu Bulu the fact that Dolan discarded a Grass energy off that Ultra Ball tells me he does have a Grass in hand so he may just very well attach a grass and strong charge this turn onto the Bulu. I'm not sure if it's even worth to take a knockout though I'm realizing that hey, while I'm shuffling my deck, let me just do a strong charge. So he does strong charge onto the top of Bulu. Uh, I'm not even sure if you retreat into the boo and just take a knock a single prize knockout i think you save it to maybe you get a lysander to kill a volk ex he does strong charge to the top of Bulu. um i believe he only has a three to two card hand 
Not sure what his options are here. He did support her for turn. I wonder if he's holding on to a Lysander for the following turn or just expecting Nui to just retreat. Actually, but Nui could take a power heater knockout here, which could be very punishing as well. So it's just not worth it to retreat into the Bulu just to take one prize and discard and get, getting rid of all your energies onto the Bulu and leaving him active. So Dolan's just gonna go ahead and attack, do the 100 damage onto the, this is not a bad move either, but this does leave the power heater knockout play open, which I'm almost positive Nui will be doing this turn. He's just a fire energy away from doing that. Actually, no, he has a fighting fury belt, so it actually would just do 30 damage. He does do a steam up anyway, wants to get those energies into the discard pile. I think Nui wants to look for another attacker here. I mean, he does. it feels kind of bad to, to put a fourth energy onto that Volky X because he only has two bench Pokemon. And you have to fulfill Power Heater if you have two energies. It has to go to two different Pokemon. So, oh wait, he does have a Pokemon in hand. I'm not sure if that's a Lele or a... Um, a Volk. I think it is a Lele. So he's going to do a second Steam Up, attach to the active, and play Sycamore. So... He does get a Star Me down. He does get the Fighting Fury Belt, which which could be very annoying. And Nui's going to have to just Power Heater here. And he's going to probably put one on the Heavily Damaged Volk and Star Me. I think he wants to put one on I think he just yeah he puts one on Starmie just for a pivot it could be good or he's going for a fourth onto the Volky X okay so Nui goes down to five prizes does Dolan have a Lysander he does have a Tapu Lele he's gonna wonder tag I think he grabs a Lysander here to at least take two prizes he does grab a Lysander not sure if he has a field blower in hand to get rid of the fighting fury belt to kill the one with four energies but he's gonna definitely take a two prize knockout here you more than likely still kill the one that has 100 damage because you could just kill it with a nature's judgment without discarding for 120 which could still keep the energies to kill it, take a knockout on the other Volcanian if he is able to find a Fighting Fury Belt. Dolan still does have a strong charge available to him, which he hasn't used and he's shuffling, so I'm not sure if he even wants to strong charge this turn. I would imagine you do because he does need the, another grass onto the active and you could just, oh, he attaches a grass. So he's just gonna conserve his energies. I would at least get a strong charge down to pivot, put it on a Lele just for a pivot. You could put a grass onto the Lele just that he has, oh, unless he has a, a float stone in hand. Dolan just weighing out his options here. Wants to see what resources Nui has available to him, checking out what he's discarded already. I think Dolan just takes the knockout on the 100 damage bulk. I don't think he has a field blower. Oh, he does have a field blower. So I think you absolutely take the clean one out. And he has a float zone. So that's why he's opting not to strong charge for the pivot. I think you absolutely kill the clean yeah this seems like a really good play dolan has really good a really he doesn't have a follow-up supporter i don't believe but he will be taking two cards off of prizes which will help you absolutely bring the clean clean volk here he doesn't interesting very interesting i think you clean you always take the not the clean one out so dolan just still takes two prizes anyway 
Nui promotes a star you. So Nui would need another Volky X and two energies in order to steam up. He does steam up once. He's gonna lie center, bring up the Vika Volt. He's gonna take a volcanic heat knockout, go to four prizes, and tie up the prizes. But now, okay, so this is actually a pretty good move. Dolan was probably anticipating a lie center to kill a Vika Volt. He's gonna play the field blower. This is actually huge. Getting rid of both Fighting Fury belts. Dolan will take the knockout on this Volk with the Nature's Judgment, discarding all his energies for 180 damage. Nui's not going to have much of a board after this. This might... This probably was the better play. So Dolan saw it up. He was thinking way ahead. He probably anticipated a Lysander Vika Volt knockout. That's why he did that. Very smart move. Dolan's going to play a Hex Maniac, stopping Wonder Tag, stopping Volcanic uh, Steam Ups, stopping a Star Me Space Beacon. Dolan's going to go down to two prizes. Nui plays a Max Elixir. And of course, still, he's probably 10 for 10 just in this tournament alone. Does hit a Max Elixir. Worst case scenario, we do see a Steam Artillery. Okay, he's going to Lysander up a Grubbin. Okay. He's going to take a Steam Artillery knockout on this Grubbin. He's going to go down to three prizes, but that just almost guarantees that uh, Dolan cannot strong charge next turn. There's no way that he actually can strong charge in Vinkable. But Dolan does get a knockout here with Energy Drive going down to his final prize. And Nui just has a Starmie on bench. So this is this is turning out to be an interesting match here. Could be anyone's game. Dolan looks very favored because he is also a Lysander away from just taking a knockout on this Staryu on the following turn. Unless Nui evolves it into a Star Me. So Dolan has two options. Does he just take the star me out or does he kill this baby Volk? I would imagine you just kill the baby Volk because it's the only thing that could attack. So Dolan is able, I'm not sure what he's, what he, if he played a card now, maybe he's just looking at his discard pile, checking his options, seeing what he has available to him, what resources he used. We may be very well going to a game three with this in this match. It's a hell of a top four match already. Would love to see a game three for a top four match. Dolan just thinking it out. I'm not sure if he played a card. I don't think he played a Via Seeker. No. And he's just gonna energy drive, go go down to his final prize. Knew he promotes a star you. Knew he doesn't have much in his hand he's gonna go ahead and play sycamore i think nui was gonna want to see an energy and a baby volk he gets a volky x oh that's a turretinator he we may see a nitro tank here this is huge can nui evolve that star me star you into a star me because then it Dolan just needs a Lysander and he wins the game. Okay, yeah, Dolan shows via Seeker for Lysander. Star, Star you just gets knocked out with Energy Drive for 40 damage. Dolan takes his last prize. Hell of a game. Hell of a game there. Dolan was able to fight back. He played it perfect. Nui's gonna definitely just want to... Nui wasn't able to get many power heaters in that game to set up multiple attackers. Nui's definitely going to go ahead and try making that a priority in this final game three. Both players up a game. Winner takes all. Winner goes to the finals. And yeah, this is a hell of a match here. And... It should be noted the other top four match was a Drampa Garb and a 
Espeon Garf. So that is currently the other top four match going on. I'll, obviously, we didn't record that game, but um, you'll see who wins that game in our next and final video, which would be the grand conclusion finals match of this 2017 NAIC format tournament. So Nui opts to go first, both players setting up. Nui, I, mean, I didn't get to see what Nui is starting here. He's definitely going to want to see a baby Volk here. Nui starts a star you, but it does have free retreat, so it's not that bad. Does Nui have any Pokemon in hand? I see a tons of fire energy, but not sure if he even has does he even have a draw supporter here? I think Nui just I see a Lysander. Wow. Is it gonna end like this? Okay, he does have a Lele, so he's gonna play Lele. I think you play an N. Just save those enter or maybe Nui just wants to dump this entire hand and just see new cards. I think he pulls a sycamore to the top, I believe. He does grab a sycamore. Yeah, I think he just needs to see a, a lot of cards. And it, worst case scenario, you have a bunch of fires in your discard for power heater targets. So he is going to just be aggressive and just see a brand new hand getting rid of a cup several fire energies i think it's only and i think there's an n and just a bunch of fire energies yep he dumped oh no it's a lysander oh a lysander n and four energies that is going to minimize okay he does get the baby volk down which is huge he's going to be able to even attach to it as well no, he's going to attach to a Volky X. He gets a Volky X as well. This is massive, a massive turn. Sycamore paid off very well. Nui can believe next turn he will be able to start power heating, doing damage, and setting up backup attackers. Dolan is off to a a great start though he does get the ideal bulu start and now eternal and bridget he's just gonna guarantee some grubbins and possibly some more bulus onto his bench so this is ideally the start that tapu bulu wants to see turn one does play the bridget he's gonna play three grubbins okay he just wants to solidify that vika volt if Nui starts targeting some Grubbins, maybe Dolan anticipating some, maybe possibly some Lysander Power Heater knockouts, which is very strong. So, but Dolan now debating if he actually wants third Grubbin or possibly another. So he does change his mind. He grabs a second Tapu Bulu. So two Grubbins and a Bulu for his Bridget. Wondering if dolan has the grass energy for attachment for the turn so he could at least horn attack for 30 damage we'll see here if dolan has an attachment for turn he does want a grass energy on that he does have the grass and he will horn attack for 30. great start for dolan here great start for both players so we're looks like we will be having a great game three here So Nui plays an ultra ball here. Wondering what he will grab. Maybe he's going to grab. Okay, he grabs as a star, which is smart. There's a lot of fire energies in his hand in his discard pile. Meaning he probably doesn't have many in deck. So this almost guarantees that he does not whiff energies off of a sycamore here. Yep, he gets a second bulky X. So now he's going to have access to several fire energies. He drew into a bunch as well. We can see an attachment, some steam ups, and he could also bring some energy back as well. So he does a steam up. And he's going to just hit for 50 damage, I believe. Yep. He hits for 50 damage and he's going to bring two energies onto his bench and he's just going to start setting up those Volky X's. Now it's on Dolan, pressure's on Dolan here. Can he get the turn to Vika Volt? 
I wonder what supporter he's eyeing up here. Uh, Rare Candy, Vika Volk will do it. I think he's just seeing what pieces he has. There's several ways of getting a Vika Volt online. Plain and simple, having a Rare Candy Vika Volt is obviously the easiest way. You, the deck does play Skyla. You can Skyla for a piece. You could find the Rare Candy. You could find a Heavy Ball considering you have one of the other pieces for the combo. So it also plays a teammate. So if he can't play it now, but if he were to take a knock, if one of his Pokemon were to get knocked out on the pre, he does have a rare candy in hand. So maybe he just is missing the Vika Volt here. I'm not sure what his support. Is. Okay. So he does have an ultra ball. We will be seeing a, Vika Volt for sure this turn. I see Rare Candy in hand. I think he has enough cards to discard off of the for the Ultra Ball and still keep the Rare Candy in hand. So I think he's just debating on what he has two lightnings. A field blower, I believe. I think maybe that's the debate if he discards a field blower or not. Because those are very vital in this matchup. Gets rid of a, te a teammate and a, a lightning energy, which isn't bad. So we'll be seeing a turn two Vika Volt. This is a great setup for Dolan Ford. He also would be taking a knockout with a nature's judgment, no discard, due to the fact that that. Volcanian has 100 remaining HP from the horn attack he did prior. Wait, but Dolan opting to grab a Lele here. That's interesting. Grabs a Lele. Oh, I think he just feels like he doesn't have much of a follow up if he was just to grab a Vika Volt. Yeah, he takes one prize, but he doesn't have. Follow, but he did have teammates in hand. So, I don't know if this is the correct line here. I mean, I think you just grab Vika Volt and just guarantee it and then take the knockout. One prize. You do see an additional prize card. Could be a draw supporter. But you had a teammate for a follow-up, which could have just grabbed you another knockout because he knew he would have most likely brought up a Volk EX and then you you have a backup Volcan uh, Bulu. I mean, I don't know if you play Sycamore here. This, this may be a bad play here. I think you just guarantee the Vika Volt. Dolan, I think just, just think, I mean, it's not bad that he's thinking ahead of himself and just wants to have a consistent follow up or board state but did he draw into rare candy Vika Volt here it's a very risky play I would have just guaranteed it I mean and he does with he's just gonna have to horn attack for 30 damage so this Bulu currently has 130 HP remaining there's no possible way that a power heater could take a knockout here a volcanic heat does take a knockout. So I wonder if Nui has a switching card to take a knockout. But oh, Nui might be okay with just furthering power heaters. He plays a power of max six. He whiffs. That is a first for this tournament. He actually whiffs a Max Elixir. Wow. Sucks to suck. And, I mean, he is down several energy. There's a lot of energies in play, whether it's in the discard or on board. So, maybe his odds weren't that great. Uh, he plays a Sycamore and draws into zero energy. Nui does have a Fighting Fury Belt in hand. And, so... He's, knew he is going to use space beacon discard of Brooklyn Hill grab two fires back I wonder if he has a switch card 
is it wouldn't be bad to switch into a Volky X attach, put a Fighting Fury belt, and take a Volcanic E knockout, taking two prizes, and then the pressure is on Dolan. He would need to find a field blower, a Vika Volt, and uh, just a lot. He's gonna do two steam ups though. I think he actually did three steam ups. He may have hit for 110 damage here. I'm not sure how many steam ups were done. I know two for sure. So this, yeah, this bulk, he only did two steam ups. So it's going to go to 130 damage with 50 HP remaining. But he almost has three volks ready to go. This is huge. Nui just setting up for the late game. Just wants to have three three strong attackers ready to go Dolan's just forced to just attach another lightning onto that Lele and he plays a heavy ball does he have a rare candy in hand he could grab a Vika Volt with that he's gonna grab a Bulu wow this is unfortunate I wonder if he has a draw supporter in hand I think he just horn. He's just gonna horn attack uh, for a third straight turn, putting that volcano in 90 damage. This is looking really bad for Dolan. I think not evolving into that Vika Volt that turn is really hurting him now. It's it's really coming back to bite him. Uh, he's gonna play an Olymp. Oh no, oh, he okay. I thought he played an Olympic Nova. He's gonna use Space Beacon to get two more fires back. Now he's going to take a Power Heater knockout on an EX Pokemon, a GX. This is just huge. This might just be Checkmate. This is going to be Checkmate here. He takes a Power Heater knockout, just fully loading the, th the three Volks. There's no way of coming back from this. Nui just has easy... He has his four prizes on board. The Lele and the Bulu, and now a, a second Bulu. But Dolan does get a Vika Volt online. He's going to put a Fuel Blower on the Vika Volt and the Grubbin. I think he plays a Sycamore. End would have been nice there. But unfortunately, it's he's just going to have to take a single prize as well, killing this Volcanion. He does get an attachment for turn. We will be seeing a strong charge here. He's probably going to strong charge onto the top of Bulu with the grass energy. So the fact that Nui also has Starmie in play just guaranteeing steam ups on his turn. So this Lele will be knocked out. With a volcanic heat steam up, steam up, with two steam ups, which he will have access to. He does strong charge onto the other Bulu with no energy. And Dolan does take an energy drive knockout going down to five prizes. Then we will promote a Volk EX. He just needs two fire energies. There's definitely one in the discard from that Volk baby Volk just being knocked out. If there's another one, Nui does have knockout with a volcanic heat. Nui just wondering what he should play here. He does have a Fighting Fury Belt. Nui's going to play an Ultra Ball, get rid of some cards he doesn't really need to see. Then now here, maybe he's eyeing up a possibly a Wonder Tag for a supporter. He just grabs a Baby Volk here. I wonder if he plays that onto his bench now, or if he wants to just get another possibly Turtonate or another Volky X onto his bench. He does have a Max Elixir. So there is two energies in, in this card. There's more than two. So guaranteed knockout for Nui this turn. I think he's debating if he wants to play a Lysander. So he plays a Space Beacon. He's going to get rid of a Baby Volk, bring back two energies here. He hasn't even attached for turn. He does put a Fighting Fury Belt on a Bench Volk. He's gonna put a Float Stone.
debating it now. Going to steam up twice and just take a knockout. Going to his final two prizes. Knew he has Lysander in hand, I think, with the Via Seeker. So if he doesn't get end, he has game on board. He could just kill a Bulu with two steam ups, especially using Space Beacon. He gets those energy back. So. It's almost game over here. I don't think there's anything Dolan could do. Dolan could take two prizes here, but Nui has two Volk EXs that just is almost impossible to deal with here. There's almost, I don't think there's pretty much anything Dolan could do to dodge this knockout. Even an N. Knew he still would have game on board. That's checkmate. I think Dolan realizes it. I think the game's over. Yeah, because if Dolan kills this Volk, knew he has, knew he has space beacon available for him just to guarantee a double knockout. Unless Dolan can play a hex maniac this turn. That's the only way he survives. Can Dolan play a hex maniac? He does play a Wonder Tag. Grabs a Lysander. Hmm. Wonder why. I think... I don't know if Dolan had Via Seeker available to him. Or Hex in deck. I'm not sure where the Hex is. If it's in the discard. A Hex Maniac would have actually bought him a turn. So he is going to bring up the Star Me. But that still is not enough. Now, Nui can still somehow find just... An energy, just one energy. Or two energies. Does Nui have two energies in deck? I think he's. needs to see. Does he have a Brooklet Hill or an Ultra Ball? So he can. I think Nui was counting his deck to see if he could just draw his entire deck. If there is two energies in his deck, he, it almost just guarantees him the game. I think Nui also had a fire energy in hand. So that guarantees one steam. So really he was just no, there is no fire energy. So there needs to be two energies in deck. I think he's not sure if it's in his prize cards or in his deck. Does play a fury belt on to another Volk here. Nui could also just Lysander and kill the Vika Volt. And I think it still would be checkmate because then he'd be just another live sender away from winning the game. But I think he doesn't want to do that because he does also just doesn't want to. He wants to avoid the end to one response from Dolan. So I knew he does play Sycamore. Draw seven cards. He does get one fire. He needs one more. He needs one more. He whiffs. He plays a Brooklyn Hill. I think he's going to just get a look at his deck here. He's going to bring up a Volk with a Fury Belt. And he's only going to be able to hit for 140 damage here. If Dolan could find a Choice Band and a Field Blower, he can actually use Tabu, Lele's, Tabu Bulu's GX that does 180 damage and heals himself taking two prizes tying up the prizes and actually still in it because Nui still needs to find one more energy but I think Nui's deck is very low and Nui just may have some energies left available so field blower choice ban is what Dolan needs right now if Dolan could do the GX attack and take a knockout and heal himself he may still be in this game I, oh he does have a field blower in hand but i think his supporter is a via seeker and i think he probably needs to dig for that he could teammates i think he's playing brooklyn hill
not sure why he's grabbing that Coco. Oh, did he play an Ultra Ball? No, he's just playing Ultra Ball. I think he just wanted to see what was available to him in his deck, seeing how many choice bands were there. Did see a choice band. So Dolan is going to play the Steel Blower for sure. Does put a lightning on Lele. Does Dolan want a strong charge? I think you definitely strong charge before you draw. So you don't want to draw into the energies. They could be other cards that you're looking for instead of the energy card. So he does strong charge, powering up the second Bulu and now powering up a Lele for an energy drive attack as well. Now, with the supporter that Dolan chooses to use this turn is going to be very important. I know Dolan wants to play an end card here. You want to end your opponent to two, but that would mean Dolan would only see four cards off the draw, and I think he wants to optimize his draw. He does get rid of the two Fighting Fury Belts, which is massive. Can he find the... So he opts to bench the promo Coco, which really doesn't hurt him. He doesn't if he plays N, he doesn't want it back into the deck. So maybe he is thinking about playing N. His hand is lightning energy via seeker and something else. Seeing what supporters are available to him. He plays via seeker. Is there an N in his discard pile? He, he's eyeing up a Sycamore. He does play Sycamore. I don't think there was an N in his discard pile. So the, can he grab a choice bin? He does get the choice bin. He immediately slaps it down. So he will be taking a knockout here. It's actually a really good game. It's going down to the wire. Both players are going to be at two prizes. And just one knockout away from going to the finals here. So Dolan will be flipping over that GX counter using the GX attack, healing himself, doing 180 damage. Nui needs two fire energies for a steam up, steam up, knockout. Does he have it available to him? He looks at his deck to Brooklyn Hill. I do see a fire energy in there that may do it. If he has a Professor Sycamore, he may be able to draw his entire deck. Does one steam up, plays Sycamore, draws, there's eight cards think he draws seven does he get it he gets the fire energy does a second steam up and that will win him the game doing 190 damage to bulu the hex maniacs was prized dolan really need that hex that one turn but knew he's gonna win it here with volk on the left going to the finals and that'll do it for top four i hope you guys enjoyed please like the video subscribe to our channel comment below what you guys thought and please comment and let us know if you guys want to see any future formats or matchups in the future. And yeah, let us know. And hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks for watching.